you guys, it's been so long. How have I survived Chicago my entire life? It's like, we all know what to expect, but for some reason every year it's like we're new to this shit. So the truth, it happened. Oh yes, all oh, the steam. This is what I need. Mm -hmm. That's gonna make me warm on the inside. So. I spent the last week and a half recovering from the you know what. After two years, almost three, COVID got my ass. Couldn't believe it. Didn't have the standard what you hear, no taste, no smell. I'm, I'm recovering, like, I'm good now, but I'm still not fully there. I'm, like, still out of it, you know? I feel like I was having 20, 20 specifically. Don't take your taste buds for granted, y'all. Out of body experiences. Okay? It was like watching myself. You know Inception the movie? It's like watching myself 20 times over. And now I'm finally coming back. I feel like I'm down from 20 to like five. Out-of-body experiences. That shit was crazy. It was crazy, right? Because I'm I'm glad that I got it when I did. If I had to get it, had I gotten it earlier, I would have been a lot more scared. It was just crazy that this thing that's shutting down the whole world, this thing that caused so much mania and depression and death was what I had. And that's what fucking terrified me. I'm so dramatic, y'all. Right away, I was like, I'm going to die. I can breathe, I can smell, I can taste. I couldn't hang out with my family for Thanksgiving. It was tragic, but my taste started coming back on Thanksgiving. So it was like blessings, because if I couldn't taste the Thanksgiving food, I would've been so sad. My family brought me food. So, I was very thankful and grateful. Like, yeah. You always hear it so many times that you take for granted the things that you have until they're taken away from you. The air you breathe, the food that you taste, okay? These little things can just be taken away from you at a moment's notice. I'm so 
happy. I'm so grateful. I'm so sorry I didn't pray before I started eating. I'm gonna try and do little prayers to myself. I hope you guys had a nice Thanksgiving. It was crazy because my last video, the super dog video, I was starting to feel sick. And I took off because I was feeling sick. But I thought I was making myself sick. But at the end of that week, it hit me. And the second I couldn't taste my spicy tacos, the ones that I've eaten with the pozole, I knew it was over. My face was in tears, but I couldn't taste the spice. I took a COVID test right after that, and I've never seen a more positive test in my life. It was petrifying. So. I let my guard down. That's how you get it. That's what they always say. COVID was an afterthought. I didn't even think about it. I didn't sanitize as much. I didn't wash my hands. I put my hands all over my face and my mouth so I was reckless now I don't blame myself but obviously it was gonna get me at some point but it was definitely due to my negligence so for those of you who are scared Yes, it's like a flu or a cold, just times 10. Some people lose their sense of taste and smell. Some people don't. I had either gotten it from work, which I'm 99% sure I did because everybody was sick and it was only a matter of time before I got sick. I'm running my errands throughout the weekend. As long as y'all don't let your guard down. The second that you think that it can never happen to you is when it happens to you. It wasn't the worst I've ever felt. Back in 2014, I remember being really, really sick, and I don't know what kind of flu or virus it was, but it had lasted like a full on month, at least three weeks. And Dayquil and Nyquil did not help at all. With this, I pulled out all the stops. Bigs. Dayquil, Nyquil. And within a week, I was okay. I had my boost. I had. I did not have my booster, but I had my vaccination, so I'm pretty sure I would have felt 20 times worse if I had not had those. I gotta go get my booster in three months. And um, 
yeah so we're on the up and up from here you know it's a good way to end out the year I'm registering for school this weekend I'm gonna just show you guys and tell you about my journey as I do it I've pretty much quit nearly everything I've started my whole life I do have commitment issues but this one It's something that I want to gear into. I want to go into this field. And it'll take a lifetime to learn all these things. Like, But if I don't get into it now, I'm never going to start, you know? I can taste this. It was delicious. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, Hanukkah, New Year, life. Just be the best person you can be. Don't be an asshole. Only if you need to be. Don't let other people bring you down. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. I'll see you next time.